what's up guys and welcome back to the channel guys we are back at it again with another new episode um yes we are back with a new story one of you guys suggested this story so we are going to read her um this is a hidden affair it is about how a girl miss eloise she escapes a toxic relationship our ex starts stalking her we need to meet a new man and our son's life could also be in danger so we're trying to figure out is this worth the risk <coughs> excuse me guys so we're about to see what um, Miss Eloise is about to give us. Um, thank you so much to whoever suggested this. I can't remember. It, it was like um, in my comments a long time ago. But um, guys, okay guys, we just did our customization. So we're going to see what kind of tea this episode is giving. Um, it did get a disclaimer that choices matter. The freaking uh, customization templates that it has for this episode uh, story is so cute. It's very cute. <coughs> we really like it. Um, but yeah, let's just get into the episode, guys. Welcome to Epi Elite. You must be Eloise. For some, this job is an opportunity to spice up their life. For to become one of the people seen in the expensive magazines and live a lifestyle that many dream about others try to keep this job a secret in fear of being judged or humiliated by others but when you've got nothing no money no qualifications no family or friends to support you you've exhausted every other option you'll do whatever it takes to survive this is our girl miss eloise i realized that we've never had a girly with like real natural hair so we, we decided that that was going to be our girl. Very cute. We do love it on her. I need to do this. For him. How did I get here? Seven years ago. Okay, so we already get in the backstory. Let's do it. It all started with Darius Tom Thomas. Another girl had the hair flat. We love that. My house girl sweetheart and the love of my life. This is not the love interest that we um, customized, by the way. We need to be, we, you seem to be so crazy in love. There wasn't a second we didn't spend together. But then that changed pretty quickly. I knew he was about to pop that question, but for me, there was no other option than keeping the little miracle inside of me. Back then, we really thought we could make it work somehow, but that night changed our lives. My parents kicked me out as soon as I found out I was pregnant. Darius and I lived with his parents for a while, but one at our own place after our baby was born. Even though I lost almost all of my friends, couldn't finish high school, ended up getting kicked out of my home, March 21st, 2016 was the best day of my life. Cody was perfect. But things started to change real quick between Darius and I. Don't start with me again. I told you I'm taking a shift I can get. I'm doing this for us. I don't see anyone else working their ass off for us. Shit, sorry, babe. I didn't mean it that way. Yeah, you did. You meant it exactly that way. And you're the best mom our son could ask for. I'll make it up to you too, okay? I love you. And although I knew he did everything he could to put food on our table, I quickly learned that there was a lot more to his double shifts. You're here for a reason. Act like it then. Hmm. As lovely as your natural beauty is, honey, this look just won't do. Um, I think this dress is cute. Well, I think this outfit's really cute. Cute, maybe, but I need you to scream a sex appeal, darling. Not girl next door. We're heading, we're dealing with big names here. Wealthy, high net worthy individuals. But I know it's your first day, sweetheart, and it's rare that anyone wows me on day one. Let me fix this. Paul, call in my number one bunny. Oh, you guys remember the bunny boiler? Um, We read that. Did we finish that? I can't remember if we finished that. I think we did. I think we did because I think I did the option where we was, uh, I think we had like three choices and we saw what it would be like for us to be with all three choices. The bunny boiler. I don't know if I have that in a playlist. I should, but you should guys go read that because we've read that. You just wait there, Eloise. Remember why you're doing this. 
I was so grateful to Priya that night. I caught him cheating again. I had nowhere else to go. And she took Cody and I into her one bedroom flat without a second thought. I spent most of my time trying to get myself back on my own two feet. Looking for jobs again. I guess your applications didn't go well. Yeah, I need to find something soon. Anything. Cody and I can't stay here with you forever. <coughs> you don't want to know how the job hunting went. Guys, I am choking to death because I just like cleaned my room and sprayed like air freshener. Well, not air freshener, but like um, fabric freshener or everything. And I'm dying in here. But anyway, so that's why I keep coughing. Anyway. So you're a single mom, huh? That's right. Sorry, but we're currently not hiring. Sorry, but we're looking for someone who has more flexibility with their time schedule. Not running around. We need someone with more experience. Wow, that's harsh. But you're sure you and Darius are really over? No second chance? You won't need to find a new job if you're getting back together again. Why she look so guilty? Why she look so guilty? What did Priya do? Priya, I love you, but I need to focus. Uh-uh. Priya looking guilty. Priya looking guilty. Two hours and several applications later, I applied for every job, any company that was hiring. I was hoping that something good would come out of it. Interested in a new job? Click to learn more. Elite up elite services. Despite what our society claims, working as an elite model can be fun, thrilling, safe, and enjoyable on many levels. Elite Services is always interested in meeting new models, fully legal services with large clientele base, flexible working hours, safety guaranteed. We do not tolerate inappropriate behavior from clients, opportunity to attend high profile events and network with celebrities, exact earnings and rights to be discussed during introduction. With over 50 years of experience, we are leaders in the industry and offer professional management, respect and discretion discretion whether you have experience in the business or you're new to the industry with our professional guidance we'll make sure you succeed in your career now we wait how about takeout i'm not that hungry even if it's car likes joint count me in Priya went extra lens to make sure Cody and I were okay. I truly felt like she was the only person I could count on. But I was wrong. Her patrol felt like having a knife plunged into your heart. Never in my life did I think I would walk in on that. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? That bitch was guilty and hurtful and she sucked. Eloise, I can explain. Go fuck yourself. Told you, that bitch was looking guilty. Hi, can I speak to the manager at Epi Elite? I'd like to take the job if the offer is still available. Coming from Wisconsin to Miami. Remember what I told you, baby? Mommy needs to talk with a nice lady and and I'll be a good boy and behave while mommy is talking. That's right, baby. Ready to see your new room? Yes. Mrs. Schmidt, your house is lovely. Oh, please, dear. Call me Nora. I'm happy you like it. What about you, little one? Do you like it here? It's so much nicer here than at Aunt Priya's place. You think Daddy would like it too, Mommy? And there it was. The question I was afraid of. And boy, did it come sooner than I expected. Honey, don't you want to take a look at your room again? I need to have a word with Miss Nora here. Okay, Mommy. He's so tiny. Such a lovely boy. He sure is. The house is perfect. This could be our new home. I could feel it. But of course, it's never that simple. Turns out I misread the rent price. 
and the rent was way too high. How would I ever think I'd be able to afford a place like this? What was I supposed to do now? Cody and I needed a place to stay. We were literally standing here with all of our belongings, ready to move in and start our new life. Where should we go from here? I never believed in guardian angels until that very moment. Nora Schmidt was the definition of kindness and good. She only charged me half the rent for the first month, which would give me enough time to earn some money for the next month's rent. While that may seem like a very small deed, I'll be grateful to her forever. So everything is riding on this job. My home, my life, my son's future. I'm prepared to do whatever it takes to give Cody a stable home and pay my rent on time, including becoming a bunny. Oh, right on cue. Has the client canceled? Oh, and you? Oh, God, no. You're in high demand, Ellie. All the clients love you. I need you for something entirely different right now. Meet Eloise, our new bunny. As you can see, she needs to look a little less like herself. I can definitely do that. You got less than two hours before she needs to meet her client. Oh, that's light work. Before you go, I need you to read this. Memorize as much as you can. You want to impress the client. Choices matter. Remember as much information as you can about your client. You will need it. Okay. Born in 91. Thank you, they, they go, Ruse. Born in 91. Mexican entrepreneur, CEO of Ruse Enterprises. Social status elite. He likes boxing, family, and honesty. Dislikes paparazzi, nosy peepee. -pee, nosy people ego egotistical women and arrogance so you can't be too arrogant on here <coughs> he don't like nosy people he doesn't like egotistical women he doesn't like the paparazzi but he does like boxing family and honesty he's mexican he's an entrepreneur and ceo of ruse enterprises diego ruse diego ruse and he looks oh it's our man he looks like he'd be on every girl's wish list why would someone like him want the girlfriend experience? I've read it. Well, then it's time for your glow up. So this is the man who we customized in uh, our customized love interest. So guys, it's him. We're going to meet our love interest. If you work hard enough and build a reputation, you'll be earning six figures in no time. I don't know if I'll be cut out for this work. Why not? I read some things online. Ugh, fuck the online. Fuck the internet. That's all personal opinions and no facts. But I won't lie to you, newbie. This job comes with risks. Some clients get aggressive, possessive, and cross the line. But you know, looks after her girls. She would never pass you on to someone that would make you do something you're uncomfortable with. I've been doing this for years now. I've learned who the sleazy types are real quick. Here, take my number. Anytime you need some advice or someone to talk to, call me. So what are your clients? What are our clients like? They're all different, but mostly are filthy rich. Like own two yachts and a mansion and will buy you a Birkin bag for fun kind of rich. Girl, I'm telling you, the benefits of this job are endless. I was working three jobs, living at home, still struggling before I started Epi Elite. Now I have my own beauty room, house, car, designer clothes, things to you know. Let's start the strength formation so you can step up your game. Create the perfect disguise. You will still get to keep your... Okay, so I think we'll just change the hair and we'll give our girl i think we'll give our girl bangs the bayang the bayang yeah i think we'll give our girl i think we'll give our girl a nice little bang Do we want feathered or do we want long? We'll do long for now. And do we want to change the color? Okay, yes. We'll do something like blonde. Since in the thing she technically is blonde. So we'll be we'll be ash blonde. 
And I think her lipstick is fine. Don't you feel more confident knowing your true identity is hidden? Have you picked your name yet? My name? Girl, you really got a lot to learn. To you, I'm Ellie. To my clients, I'm Mia. And if you want to protect your personal life, then you definitely don't want to use your real name. How about Ariana? I like it. Okay, so this is our girl, Miss Ariana. <coughs> Period. Ariana, what are you doing here? Here is nothing. There you go, right? Confidence, confidence, confidence. I'm Ariana. You know, I wasn't kidding when she said her girls are beautiful. Would you like anything to drink? I'll have a cosmopolitan, please. No problem, Mr. Ruse. Um, play mini game, skip max confidence points. You know what? We're going to play. Um, he doesn't like uh, egotistical women or arrogance. So we'll let him start the conversation. <gasps> no, not much of a talker, huh? Unless she's nervous. Are you from Miami? Uh, yeah, I just moved here. I am. I actually recently just moved here. Do you like it? Haven't actually had time to look around. I can show you some of my favorite spots. Uh, favorite spots down Miami Beach. Show me his favorite spots. He should, could show me his phone. Come your panties, girl. So do you move here or to be closer to family? Get defensive and put your guard up. Share some of your personal life. We'll share. Because he likes honesty. Um, so we'll share. Sorry, that might have just been too personal. No, it's fine. I wish being closer to family was the reason I moved here. More like running away from that. My parents disown me and I don't have any siblings. Oh God, please don't pity me. Bad decisions have also given me my greatest gift in life. But one day I hope I can become, belong to a loving family. She's a strong woman. Sorry I'm rambling on. Ask about boxing. Are you a fighter? Your body looks incredible under beneath that shirt. You've got an athletic build and your knuckles are bruised. What an interesting girl. I'm a huge boxing fan. I spar too when I have time. It must it must have been nerves how I didn't notice sooner. Thiago had a broad shoulders and a prominent chest even without flexing his shirt was tight over his biceps he had large capable hands and his knuckles were rough and scarred but beside but despite his steer -like exterior there was only warmth behind his eyes like what you see i was just appreciating the fact you train oh so now you're imagining me topless only a little bit <laughs> I was just teasing you. I train my body. Working out has been good stress relief for me since leaving Mexico. Oh, I can tell. I'm on a roll. Let's ask something else. Um, his family. Oh, damn it. So what are your family like? He said he like he said he was about family. Are you close with your parents? Family is very important to me, but I like my private life to remain private. Ariana, crap. Oh, well, we lost points. We lost points. That sucks. A couple hours later, I need to get back to Cody. Well, it's time for me to get going now. I hope you enjoy tonight. Bye, Thiago. Can't believe last night really happened. I went on a date with a handsome stranger and got paid for it. Um, Nora, what are you doing? Eloise, dear, you scared me. I'm sorry. It's fine. Who are you spying on? Well, I was hoping to see the new neighbors. Any luck? No, there's only these moving trucks, but no sign of the owners of that huge house. Oh, my. Oh. Okay, we see a lady. Okay, a bunch of moving men. And for the sake of my 
porcelain. Don't let it drop. Of course, ma'am. Your neighbors. Is this gorgeous woman talking to us? I don't see anyone else here. She's waving. Let's welcome her to our neighborhood. Gorgeous. I had to admit, this woman was right here. It was drop dead gorgeous. Legs for days. Don't let me start with her glamorous curls. They were so shiny and like treasure from a sunken pirate wreck. Green emerald eyes. You could sense her confidence from miles away. Hi there, I'm Veronica. You must be the neighbors. Nice to meet you, Veronica. I'm Nora. I live next door. Hi, I'm Eloise and I. Yeah, yeah, very nice to meet you both. You guys need to come to our welcome party. It's going to be epic. Rude. She didn't even let Eloise finish her sentence. You said our welcome party, so you didn't move in all by yourself? Oh, God, no. I'm married. He must be here somewhere. Oh, there he is. Honey, come over here for a second to meet our new neighbors. He's always so busy. Girl, it's him, ain't it? Oh, dear Lord. Please don't recognize this. Ladies, meet Diego, my husband. This must be some sick joke right now. Diego, as in my client from last night? Yesterday night? Diego was my neighbor, and he's married? Girl, stop having a panic attack. Please, God, don't run, don't recognize me. Girl, that is all that I have for you. This is about to be crazy. Our girl got a secret identity. She done met the man, found out he's married. He's the next door neighbor. It's about to be a mess. It's about to be a whole mess. I'm very excited to read this story, guys. So that is all that I have for you today. Another new story coming tomorrow. Um, Let me guys, let me know what you guys think about this story. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Can we pretend that airplanes in the night sky are like shooting stars? I could really use a wish right now.